dispensation that exists, the rays of thy peaceful and redeeming gifts. Guard me in thy peace, for thou art the life and peace of all. Most holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. As thou hast appeared in the bush to Moses in a vision of fire, so hast thou, word of the Father, been called angel, disclosing beforehand to us thy coming, and thereby hast thou clearly proclaimed to all the power in three persons of the only sovereign Godhead. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Holy Trinity, ruling soul and supreme who puttest forth the natural co-eternal glory, do thou make those who sing thy praises in the orthodox faith worthy to see the one bright light without beginning, threefold sun of thine own glory, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. God, the word being by essence maintained by himself alone for all ages, was ineffably held in thy womb, O Virgin Mother, calling back man to the unity of the one dominion. <coughs> Compassed about in an abyss of sin, on the unsearchable abyss of thy tender mercies do I call. Bring me out of corruption, O God. <coughs> Most holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. Do thou who delightest in mercy, have mercy upon those who believe in thee, O God, threefold Son, and deliver thy servants from faults and passions and perils. Most holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. Do thou who delightest in mercy, have mercy upon those who believe in thee, O God, threefold Son, and deliver thy servants from faults and passions and perils. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the ineffable sea of thy goodness, give me as prize the brightness of thine own radiance past mine, and the light-giving and thrice-shining radiance of the Godhead, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> O Virgin, the Most High was made man past speech from thee, and put on the whole frame of man, and illumine me with the light that shines threefold. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Do thou who art merciful, having stretched out towards us the sea of thy compassion, accept us. Look upon the people glorifying thee. Receive the song of those beseeching thee. O three and one who has no beginning. For we have put our hope in thee, the God of all, to give us forgiveness of our offenses. Glory to the Father to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, who art good and dost feel for us, thou hast conceived the fount of compassion, for thou on the earth the defense of the faithful, thou art the comfort of those who sorrow. Therefore, we whose only riches are thy succor, now will fall before thee in faith, so as to find deliverance from sufferings. The profane God in the vilest of thy friend, and the flame exceeding high, but Christ cast the new the spirit over the children who fear God. Blessed is he and exalted above <clears throat> Most holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. Thou who art one Lord, unchanged in three persons, dost ever array the armies of the angels without turning. Show then also at all times my heart to be without turning and ready to glorify thee warmly and to sing thy praises with reverence. Most holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. 
Thou who art one Lord, unchanged in three persons, dost ever array the armies of angels without turning. Show then also at all times my heart to be without turning and ready to glorify thee warmly and to sing thy praises with reverence. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, the intelligent choirs of the immaterial beings, made bright by thy beams, O God, ruler, soul, and supreme, threefold Son, become by their position reflected lights. Do thou also as threefold shining creator of the light, show me also by illumination and participation their light. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. In order to direct us and lift us towards the heavens, forsake us not that love thee who through love of mankind past words became man in the womb of the virgin and hast made man like God and seated him with the Father on the throne of glory. In Babylon of old, by the command of God, the fiery furnace worked in contrary ways, burning the Chaldeans. It refreshed the faithful as they sang, O long ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Most holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. O Trinity, no man can approach. Co-eternal rule of God that has no beginning. Precisely similar, similar in all things. Save the light-bearing properties. Set every evil counsel of the opponents and every vexation of devils at naught. Ever keeping me unharmed, O Lord of all. Most holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. O Trinity, no man can approach. Co-eternal rule of God that has no beginning, precisely similar in all things, save the light-bearing properties, set every evil counsel of the opponents and every vexation of devils at naught, ever keeping me unharmed, O Lord of all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O incomprehensible soul and supreme sovereignty, threefold Son, who hast wisely and with all strength set up the world, and preserved it at all times by a hierarchy without blemish. Dwell in my heart for me to praise and glorify thee with the choirs of angels unto all ages, both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. O wisdom of the Father, thou incomprehensible word of God beyond words, without changing thine unchangeable nature, thou hast compassionately taken upon thyself the nature of man, and has taught all to honor the one and only Trinity as supreme sovereign of all the ages. The Son of the Father without beginning has appeared to us. God the Lord made flesh of the virgin, to give light to those in darkness, and to gather the dispersed. Therefore the far famed Theotokos do we magnify. <clears throat> Most holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. From the light without beginning the sun, co-eternal light, has shone, and the spirit, light same in nature, has proceeded ineffably in divine majesty. The birth without change, together with the procession past words, having been assured, most holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. Enlighten with thy threefold light, O Godhead, threefold Son, the hearts of those who sing thy praises, and give them mind to understand all things, and to do thy good and perfect will, and to glorify and magnify thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, being boundless by nature as God, and having a boundless sea of mercies. Thou, O Trinity, hast taken pity in former times, do thou now as then take pity on thy servants and deliver them from faults and temptations and adverse circumstances, both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. Save me, O my God, from all manner of abuse and evil. O thou, almighty, praised in three persons, ineffably one, and guard thy flock by the prayers of the Theotokos. <clears throat> to glorify thee, God the word before whom the cherubim quick and tremble, and in the heaven the host apologize, the one who arose on the third day from the tomb, Christ
this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one amen after the passion when the women went to the tomb to anoint thy body O Christ our God they saw angels in the sepulchre and were affrighted. For they heard them say that the Lord was risen, granting the world great mercy. <clears throat> Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, 
out of nothing all creation, whether of this world or of the world above, for fighting for and sustaining them, who after thine other ineffable benefits to them that are born of earth, hast also given us repentance on account of our bodily infirmities, even until death. Forsake not us wretched ones to die in our evil deeds, nor to be the laughing stock of the author of evil, the envier and destroyer. For thou seest, O kind-hearted one, both the extent of his slander and enmity, and the degree of our passionateness and weakness and negligence. But we pray thee that thine inexhaustible goodness may be displayed upon us who every day and every hour anger thee by violating the precious and life-giving commandments. <clears throat> and do thou remit and pardon us also, all wherein we have sinned during our past life, and even down to the present hour in deed or word or in thought and vouchsafe us to finish the remainder of our life in repentance, in contrition, and in the observance of thy holy precepts. If indeed enticed by pleasure we have sinned in various ways, or have been seduced by abominable desires, and spent our time in useless and pernicious lust, if moved thereto by anger and irrational fury, we have offended one of our brethren. If by our tongue we have bound ourselves in unavoidable, crooked, and strong snares, if by any of our senses or by all, voluntary or involuntary, knowingly or unknowingly, through beguilement or persuasion, we have foolishly stumbled. If with evil and vain thoughts we have defiled our conscience. If in some other way we have sinned, overcome by evil chance or habit, forgive us and remit to all, all compassionate one, most good and plenteous in mercy, and grant us henceforth courage and strength, that we may fulfill thy good and pleasing and perfect will that having by the light of repentance left the evil path of night and darkness and walking, us, and walking honestly as in the day, we may appear cleansed, though unworthy, through thy love for mankind, hymning and magnifying thee unto the ages. Amen. open ear and tongue, to the deaf and dumb, likewise open now my perplexed mind and tongue, to the praise of thy most holy name that I may cry to thee. Jesus, all wonderful angels, astonishment, Jesus, all powerful for mother's deliverance, Jesus, all sweet as patriarch's exaltation, Jesus, all glorious king strong. Jesus, all beloved prophets fulfillment. Jesus, all marvelous martyr strength. Jesus, all peaceful monks joy. 
Jesus of gracious presbyter sweetness, Jesus of merciful master of substance, Jesus of tender and saints rejoicing, Jesus of honorable virgin's chastity, Jesus everlasting sinner salvation, Jesus son of God of mercy, As when seeing the widow weeping bitterly, O Lord, thou wast moved with pity and didst raise her son from the dead, as he was being carried to burial. Likewise have pity on me, O lover of men, and raise my soul dead by sins, as I cry, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. <clears throat> Seeking to know what passes knowledge, Philip asked, Lord, show us the Father, and thou didst answer him, Have I been so long with you? And yet hast thou not known that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? Likewise, O inconceivable one, with fear I cry to thee. Jesus, eternal God, Jesus, all-powerful King, Jesus, long-suffering Master, Jesus, O oh merciful Savior, Jesus, my gracious guardian, Jesus, cleanse my sins, Jesus, take away my iniquities, Jesus, pardon my unrighteousness, Jesus, my hope, forsake me not, Jesus, my helper, reject me not, Jesus, my creator, forgive me not. Jesus, my shepherd, lose me not. Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. Thou who didst endure with power from on high, thy apostles who tarried in Jerusalem, O Jesus, clothe also me, strip bare of all good work, with the warmth of thy Holy Spirit. And grant that with love I may sing to thee, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. In the abundance of thy mercy, O Jesus, thou hast called publicans and sinners and infidels. Now despise me not who am like them, but as precious myrrh accept this song. Jesus, invincible power, Jesus, infinite mercy, Jesus, radiant beauty, <coughs> Jesus, unspeakable love, Jesus, Son of the living God, Jesus, have mercy on me, a sinner, Jesus, hear me, who was conceived in iniquity, Jesus, cleanse me, who was born in sin, Jesus, teach me, storm of doubting thoughts, Peter was sinking, but beholding thee, O Jesus, in the flesh, walking on the waters, he confessed thee to be the true God, and receiving the hand of salvation, he cried, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. <clears throat> when the blind man heard thee, O Lord, passing by on the way, he cried, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. And thou didst call him and open his eyes. Likewise, enlighten the spiritual eyes of my heart with thy love, as I cry to thee and say, Jesus, creator of those on high, Jesus, redeemer of those below, Jesus, vanquisher of the powers of hell, Jesus, adorner of every Jesus, comforter of my soul, Jesus, enlightener of my mind, 
Jesus, where it is in my heart? Jesus, help up my body. Jesus, my Savior, save me. Jesus, my light, enlighten me. Jesus, deliver me from all torments. Jesus, save me despite my unworthiness. Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. As of all thou didst redeem us from the curse of the law, by thy divinely shed blood, O Jesus, likewise rescue me from the snares in which the serpent has entangled us, through the passions of the flesh, through lustful suggestions, and evil despondency as we cry to thee, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. <clears throat> Seeing the Creator in human form and knowing Him to be their Lord, the Hebrew ch children sought to please Him with branches, crying, Hosanna, but we offer Thee a song, sing. Jesus, true God, Jesus, Son of David, Jesus, glorious King, Jesus, innocent land, <clears throat> Jesus, wonderful shepherd, Jesus, guardian of my infancy, Jesus, nourisher of my youth, Jesus, praise of my old age, Jesus, my hope at death, Jesus, my light after death, Jesus, my comfort in thy judgment, Jesus, my desire, let me not then be ashamed, Jesus, Son of God, Fulfillment of the words and message of the inspired prophets of Jesus. Thou didst appear on earth, and thou who art uncontainable didst dwell with men. Thenceforth, being healed through thy wounds, we learn to sing Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. <clears throat> when the light of thy truth dawned on the world, devilish delusion was driven away. For the idols of our Savior have fallen, unable to endure thy strength. But we who have received salvation cry to thee. Jesus, the truth dispelling falsehood. <coughs> Jesus, the light above all light. Jesus, the King surpassing all in strength. Jesus, God constant in mercy. Jesus, Son of God, Master, bless. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 
for this holy temple and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter herein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For his holiness, our patriarch, Neophyte, for his eminence, our metropolitan Joseph, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for this land, for its president, its civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and countryside, and the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. that we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, most glorious Lady, Tethos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For thine is the dominion and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages.
Паки, паки, миром, Господу, помолимся. Господи, помилуй. Заступи, спаси, помилуй, и сохрани наш Божий, Твою благодатью. Господи, помилуй. Пресвятую, причистью, пей благословенью, славню, владичицу, нашу Богородицу, и пресну Деву Марию, со своими святыми помянувши, Сама себе и друг друга, и весь живот наш Кристу Богу предадим. Я, как благий человек, любец Бога си, Тебе славу посылаю Отцу и Сыну и Святому Духу, ныне и присну и во веки веков. Remember us, O Savior, in thy kingdom. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. We bring the tree, the cross, for the forgiveness of offenses. For us hast thou accepted it, O lover of mankind. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Venerate, O Master, thy tomb and thy rising, through which thou hast delivered the world from corruption, O lover of mankind. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. By death, O Lord, death has been swallowed up, and by thy resurrection, Savior, has the world been saved. Blessed are you, and then shall we call you and persecute you, and, you, and shall say all men running against you falsely for my sake. Speaking words of life and giving instruction concerning that which is divine, Christ said to his friends, Recognize the Father in me who I admit unapproachable light unto the joy of those who chant. Let us sing unto our God, for he hath been glorified. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for greatly shall be reward in heaven. Speaking words of life and giving instruction concerning that which is divine, Christ said to his friends, Recognize the Father in me, for I emit unapproachable light unto the joy of those who chant. Let us sing unto our God, for he hath been glorified. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Ye will be invested with the power of tongues, O my friends and disciples, and will be marvelous in the richness thereof. For ye will be filled with glory, for I shall reveal myself to be brighter than the sun, illumining those who chant in joy. Let us sing unto our God, for he hath been glorified. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Shining forth today with divine radiance on Mount Tabor, as he promised, Christ hath laid bare his countenance to his disciples, and full of light bearing and divine splendor, they chanted in joy, let us sing unto our God, for he hath been glorified. Wisdom arise. Come, let us worship and bow before Christ, O Son of God, who did from the dead, save us who sing to thee. Alleluia. When thou, the dead of thy days, go down to death. When thou, the dead of thy days, go down to death. Then is thou slain, held by the lightning flash of thy living. 
righteous man shall flourish like a palm tree and like a cedar in Lebanon shall he be multiplied. king which would take account of his servants and when he had begun to reckon one was brought unto him which owed him ten thousand talents but for as much as he had not to pay his lord commanded him to be sold and his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made the servant therefore fell down and worshipped him saying Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion, and loosed him, and forgave him the debt. But the same servant went out, and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him a hundred pence. And he laid hands on him, and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that thou owest. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet, and besought him, saying, Have patience with me, I will pay thee all. And he would not, but went and cast him into prison, till he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry, and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all that debt, because thou desirest me. Shouldest not thou also have compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? And his Lord was wroth, and delivered him to the tormentors, till he should pay all that was due unto him. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not every one his brother their trespasses. <clears throat> the Lord said to his disciples, These things I command you, that ye love one another. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. But this cometh to pass, that the word might be fulfilled that was written in their law. They hated me without a cause. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, ye shall testify of me. And ye also shall bear witness, 
because you have been with me from the beginning. These things have I spoken unto you, that ye should not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think he doeth God's service. Peace be unto thee that proclaimeth the glad tidings. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory and greetings on the after feast of the Transfiguration, which we celebrated yesterday. And good strength to you as we continue in the Dormition fast. This gospel passage, actually we heard two gospel passages, one from Matthew, for the Sunday, this Sunday in the liturgical year, and the other uh, from John for the martyr who we're commemorating today, martyr Domitius. But the first gospel passage is what I want to focus on today from Matthew, this parable of the unmerciful servant. Just prior to this parable, the Peter had asked, the Lord, how many times should I forgive my brother if he sins against me? Seven times? And the Lord says, no. Seventy times seven times. And then he gives this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a certain king. And the king calls one of his debtors, his servants, to him calls him to account. He owes more than he could ever possibly pay. And he begs for patience so that he may pay all. The man, the servant, fears the penalty of this imprisonment, his wife being sold and his children, and he desires the mercy. And he begs for it. And he's given it. But we see that there's something not quite right with this servant because he immediately goes out after having received such great mercy and demands payment from his fellow servant without mercy. So he fears the penalty. He desires the mercy, but only so that he can continue in his own ways, the pursuit of his own desires, his own advancement, we see that he did not actually approve of his king's method of handling things. Mercy. He did not approve of the king's mercy. We see that in his actions because he did not forgive his fellow servant. So we are to give mercy, to forgive our brothers their trespasses against us from our heart, the Lord says, at the end of the parable. So there, in this parable we see, I think, two things. One, that we should be like that king, our king, be merciful and to forgive those who trespass against us. But also we see we can contemplate how we ought to receive forgiveness, right? Because this servant was a debtor. He begged for mercy and he received it, but it profited him very little. 
So our King <clears throat> is merciful and ready to forgive. He has no lack of forgiveness. There is no limit to the number of pardons he may dispense. And we have no need to fear that forgiveness is not available for us. But rather, a lack of feeling on our part, hardness of heart, this is the only thing that can prevent this forgiveness being effective because it's there and ready to be received, ready to be given. If we, when we rather, become entrenched in looking to our own interests, pursuing our own desires, our own advancement, our own advantage, then even when great mercy is given and forgiveness is granted, we are unable to feel the power of it. So if our king right now is delaying, calling us to account, we're not yet standing as debtors before the judgment seat, let us not take it as an opportunity to pursue our own advantage, but rather to pursue virtue, to look to our neighbor and to his advantage. Someday, either at the end of our life or in some critical moment in our life, we will feel that we are standing before the judge and we will beg for mercy. And it may be granted more time, a relief of some burden, some oppression we're experiencing. But what do we do after that? Do we take the opportunity to repent and change our ways? To become merciful like the one who dispensed mercy to us? Or do we take the opportunity to once again put ourselves deeper and deeper into debt by seeking our own advantage? In America, we have this saying, the pursuit of happiness, right? Everyone has a right to the pursuit of happiness. And there's some merit to that, but even better is the pursuit, pursuit of virtue. We have to pursue virtue. The pursuit of happiness, there's a way you can understand that, but mostly these days we understand it in just pursuing my own interests, my own advantage. I should have a right to that. But no matter what the situation, we always have the possibility to pursue virtue. And this is what will lead us further up towards Christ. So in doing so, in pursuing virtue, in looking to our neighbor and his advantage, we will likely have slips and falls into debt, but when called to account and having begged for and received mercy, our hearts will be able to receive this beautiful gift and be strengthened by it in our own pursuit of virtue and being warmed by mercy, not merely released from obligation, it will become, our heart will become merciful as well. Tapping into that inexhaustible well of mercy which our Lord has for all those who would receive it. And like true servants, dispensing it out to others in imitation of our Master, our Lord Jesus Christ, who reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say. O oh Lord, Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for his holiness, our patriarch, Neophit, for his eminence, our bishop, Fulton, Joseph, and all of our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for this land, its president, its civil authorities, and armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray <gasps> to, for our brethren, the priests, the Hara monks, deacons, Hara deacons, monastics, and all of our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable holy Orthodox patriarchs, for pious kings and right believing queens, for the founders of this holy temple, and for all, for Saint Exenia Batokia, and for all of our fathers and brethren gone to their rest before us, and the Orthodox here and everywhere laid to rest. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those unfortunates who are afflicted in the fire in Maui that they will recover and that they will be blessed and provided with assistance for their care. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for them that bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple. For them that minister and them that chant, for all the people who are present, who awaited thee great and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For a merciful God art thou and the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Pray ye catechumens to the Lord. Ye faithful for the catechumens, let us pray that the Lord will have mercy upon them, that he will catechize them with the word of that he will reveal unto them the gospel of righteousness, that he will unite them to his holy, catholic, and apostolic church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Ye catechumens, bow your heads unto the Lord. that they also with us may glorify thy most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As many as our catechumens depart, catechumens depart, as many as our catechumens depart, let none of the catechumens remain. As many as are of the faithful, again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Wisdom. For unto thee is due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy temple, and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter her in, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. that we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Wisdom. That always guarded under thy dominion, we may send up glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of
patriarch Leopold, his eminence, our metropolitan Joseph. May the Lord our God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. For this, <clears throat> for this land, the faithful who dwell herein, its president, civil authorities, and armed forces, and the Orthodox clergy and civil in central Indiana, may the Lord our God remember in his heavenly kingdom always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The Orthodox servants of God, Anna, Nezla, Sarah, the priest Jonathan, the people of Ukraine and of Russia, and those suffering violence everywhere, those suffering from illness and natural disasters, the members, benefactors, council members of this holy parish, may the Lord our God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. The Orthodox servants of God departed this life before us in hope of resurrection and life eternal. May the Lord our God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. May the Lord our God, our God remember the day. complete our prayer unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. O that precious gifts set forth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy temple and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter herein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Have mercy, o Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Have mercy, o Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses. Let us ask of the Lord. Have mercy, o Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls, and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, o Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, o Lord, a Christian ending to our life painless, blameless, <coughs> peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. <clears throat> Let us ask, O Lord, calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, most glorious Lady, the Lord, ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thy most holy and good and life creating Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. 
Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess.
my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Magnify, O oh my soul, the Lord transfigured our chamber. Thy forgiving was shown to be. Among the first, be mindful, O Lord, of His Holiness, Patriarch Theophilus, His Eminence, Metropolitan Joseph, whom do Thou grant unto Thy holy churches, in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, rightly dividing the word of Thy truth. And for all those living in repose, that each of us now repose. to 
who is set with one mouth and one heart, we may glorify in him thy most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now endeavor and to the ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with thy Having called to remembrance all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. That our man loving God, having accepted them upon his holy, most heavenly, noetical altar, as an odor of spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses. Let us ask of the Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. And vouchsafe us, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God as Father. And to say,
through the grace and compassions and love for mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thy most holy and good and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Let us attend. Holy things are for the holy. One is holy, one is Lord. Jesus Christ to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. In everlasting remembrance of Sovereign Lord Jesus Christ, our God, source of life and immortality, who art the author of all creation, visible and invisible, the equally everlasting and co-eternal Son of the Eternal Father, who through the excess of thy goodness didst in the last days assume our flesh and was crucified for us, ungrateful and ignorant as we were, and is caused through our own blood the restoration of our nature, which had been marred by sin. O oh, immortal King, accept the repentance even of me a sinner, and incline thine ear to me and hear my words, for I have sinned, O oh Lord, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am not worthy to gaze on the height of thy glory, for I have provoked thy goodness by transgressing thy commandments and not obeying thy orders. But thou, O Lord, in thy forbearance, patience, and great mercy, hast not given me up to be destroyed with my sins, but thou waitest my complete conversion. For thou, O lover of men, hast said through thy prophet that thou desirest not the death of the sinner, but that he should return to thee and live. For thou dost not will, O Lord, that the work of thy hand should be destroyed, neither dost thou delight in the destruction of men, but thou desirest that all should be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. Therefore, though I am unworthy both of heaven and earth, and even of this transient life, since I have completely succumbed to sin, and am slave to pleasure and to face thy image, yet being thy work and creation, wretch that I am, even I do not despair of my salvation, and I dare to draw near to thy boundless compassion. So receive even me, O Christ, lover of men, as the harlot, as the thief, as the publican, and as the prodigal, and take from me the heavy burden of my sins. Thou who takest away the sin of the world, who healest men's sicknesses, who callest the weary and heavy laden to thyself, and givest them rest. For thou camest not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance and purify me from all defilement of flesh and spirit. Teach me to achieve perfect holiness in the fear of thee, that with the clear witness of my conscience, I may receive the portion of thy holy things and be united with thy holy body and blood and have thee dwelling and remaining in me with the Father and the Holy Spirit. And, O Lord Christ, my God, let not the communion of thy immaculate and life-giving mysteries be to me for condemnation, nor let it make me sick in body or soul through my partaking of them unworthily, but grant me till my last breath to receive without condemnation the portion of thy holy things for communion with the Holy Spirit as a provision for eternal life and as an acceptable defense at thy dread tribunal so that I too with all the elect may become a partaker of thy pure joys, which thou hast prepared for those who love thee. O Lord, in whom thou art glorified throughout the ages. Amen. 
O oh Lord my God, I know that I am not worthy or sufficient that thou shouldest come under the roof of the house of my soul. For all is desolate and fallen, and thou hast not with me a place fit to lay thy head. But as from the highest heaven thou didst humble thyself for our sake, so now conform thyself to my humility. And as thou thyself did consent to lie in a cave and in a manger of dumb beasts, so also consent to lie in a manger of my unspiritual soul and to enter my defiled body. And as thou dost not disdain to enter and dine with sinners in the house of Simon the leper, so consent to enter the house of my humble soul, which is leprous and sinful. And as thou dost not reject the woman who was a harlot and a sinner like me, when she approached and touched thee, so also be compassionate with me, a sinner, as I approach and touch thee. And let the life hold thy most holy body and precious blood be for the sanctification and enlightenment and strengthening of my humble soul and body, for a relief from the burden of my many sins, for a protection from all diabolical practices, for a strength and a check on my evil and wicked way of life, for the mortification of passions, for the keeping of thy commandments, for an increase of thy divine grace and for the advancement of thy kingdom. For it is not insolently that I draw near to thee, O Christ my God, but as taking courage from thy unspeakable goodness, that I may not by long abstaining from thy communion become a prey to the spiritual wolf. Therefore I pray thee, O Lord, who alone art holy, sanctify my soul and body, my mind and heart, my emotions and affections, and wholly renew me. Root the fear of thee in my members, and make thy sanctification indelible in me. Be also my helper and defender. Guide my life in peace, and make me worthy to stand on my right hand with thy saints. Through the prayers and intercessions of thy Immaculate Mother, of thy ministering angels, of the immaculate powers, and of all the saints who have ever been pleasing to thee. Amen. Only pure and sinless Lord, who through the ineffable compassion of thy love for men didst assume our whole nature, through the pure and virgin blood of her who supernaturally conceived thee, by the coming of the divine spirit and by the will of the eternal Father, O Christ Jesus, wisdom and peace and power of God, when thy assumption of our nature did suffer thy life-giving and saving passion, the cross, the nails, the spear, and death, mortify all the deadly passions of my body. Thou who in thy burial didst spoil the dominions of hell, bury with good thoughts my evil schemes and scatter the spirits of wickedness. Thou who by thy life-giving resurrection on the third day didst raise up our fallen first parent, raise me up who am sunk in sin and suggest to me ways of repentance. Thou who by thy glorious ascension didst deify our nature, which thou hast assumed and dishonor it by thy session at the right hand of the Father, make me worthy by partaking of thy holy mysteries of a place at thy right hand among those who are saved. Thou who by the descent of the Spirit, the Paraclete, didst make thy holy disciples worthy vessels, make me also a recipient of his coming. Thou who art to come again to judge the world with justice, Grant me also to meet thee on the clouds, my maker and creator, with all thy saints, that I may unendingly glorify and praise thee, with thy eternal Father and thy all-holy and good and life-giving spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O sovereign Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who alone hast authority to forgive men their sins, overlook in thy goodness and love for men, all my offenses, whether committed with knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy to receive without condemnation thy divine, glorious, spotless, and life-giving mysteries, not for punishment nor for an increase of sins, but for purification and sanctification, and as a pledge of the life and kingdom to come, as a protection and help and for the destruction of enemies, and for the blotting out of my many transgressions, for thou art a God of mercy and compassion and love for men. And to thee we send up the glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. I know, O Lord, that I partake of thy immaculate body and precious blood unworthily, and that I am guilty and eat and drink judgment to myself by not discerning the body and blood of thee, my Christ and God. 
but taking courage from thy compassion, I approach thee. For thou hast said, He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. Therefore have compassion, O Lord, and do not make an example of me a sinner, but deal with me according to thy mercy. And let these holy things be for my healing and purification and enlightenment. With the fear of God and with faith and love,
And I will bless thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Save, O God, thy people, and bless thine inheritance. We have seen the Lord. We have received what I have We have found the true faith, which be the undivided Trinity, who has to the ages of ages. of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord 
Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Having us that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us depart. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify them that love the beauty of thy house. Do thou glorify them by thy divine power and forsake us not that hope in thee. Give peace to thy world and to thy churches, to the priests and to all thy people. For every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee do we send up glory and thanksgiving and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ God, our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father. Of the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles, of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, and of the holy martyr Domitius of Persia and his two disciples, the higher martyr Narcissus, the Pope, the Bishop of Jerusalem, the martyrs, Marinus, the soldier, and Asterius, the senator of Caesarea and Palestine, the martyr Arafra of Augsburg, and St. Boris of the Thyde. The Virgin Potamia of Alexandria, Saint Epertius of Egypt, Saint Victricus of Ruin, Saint Theodosius the New of Peloponnesus, the Healer, Saint Theman, the Much Alien of the Kyrkis, Saint Theman the Faster of the Far Caves in Kiev, Saint Mercurius of the New of the Near Caves in Kiev, Bishop of Smolensk, Saint Nicanor, Wonder Worker of Mount Gonostratus, and Saint Domitius of Philippeo. Saint Theodora of Cleveland, Saint Metrophanes, Bishop of Voronezh, Saint Anthony of Optina, Saint Joseph the Monk of Trapsa Monastery of Crete, 
brothers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. especially to our guests that we have with us today. And um, just have a few announcements. Uh, we are resuming Sunday school today for children 3 to 7. Lucci, James will be teaching Sunday school. Uh, call, call the students out during the coffee hour around 11.30 or so. And uh, I will be doing Sunday school for the 8 to 12 group beginning in two weeks, September 3rd. I'll be doing that. Uh, today, for adult education, we have uh, our continuing our summer topical series. Topic this week is the human person in Eastern theology with Michael Dupé in the parlor, and that'll begin around noon. This week, we continue the Dormition Fast, and we will have uh, the Paraclesis to the Mother of God every Monday, Wednesday, and uh, Friday at 6 p.m. each day, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And the Dormition itself is a week from this Monday, so a week from today we'll have vigil at 6 o'clock for the Dormition. And we have a, a sign-up online for an all-night uh, tomb vigil with the Mother of God, like we do with the Lord. Um, I had several comments from people this past <clears throat> Holy Week that they appreciated that experience so much, they wanted another opportunity, and I thought it seemed fitting to do that sort of thing, staying in the church, uh, reading the psalms and prayers uh, for the Mother of God as well. And so that is one hour time slots uh, throughout the night, and then Divine Liturgy in the morning on the 28th, Monday the 28th at 9 a.m. This coming weekend, Friday and Saturday, Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church in Carmel is having their Greek Fest, 4 p.m. on Friday uh, to 10 p.m. and 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. on Saturday. Um, the Serb Fest is coming up as well, September 9th, the St. George Middle Eastern Festival, September 15th, 16th, and 17th. A little bit of time before that, we'll get uh, some flyers posted so you can see the details for those things. And we also here at Joval Saro are starting a, a new endeavor with our lamp post room across the way from the bookstore. Um, the, every first Friday of the month for the fall, we will have a, a time for fellowship with tea and coffee and dessert and uh, a presentation uh, in the lamp post uh, around, about the Inklings. C.S. Lewis, Tolkien, um, their uh, Christian influence and formation and um, their connection with the Church Fathers. Um, so I sent an email out about that with all the details, but I wanted to mention it here. The first one will be September 7th, Thursday, September 7th, from 6 to 8 p.m. All right, do we have any birthdays or name days to celebrate? Mother Catherine? Was it birthday? Okay, birthday for Mother Catherine. Birthday, birthday for Lance. Name day for Denise, the seven sleepers of Ephesus. Anyone else? And Jaron, yes, congratulations to Jaron and his wife Tiffany. Their baby was born a week and a half ago now. Uh, Pierce, little baby girl, everyone's doing well. And uh, congratulations on that. We'll sing many years to you as well. Mother Catherine, Denise, Lance and Jeremy. and peaceful life, health and salvation and success in all endeavors. Grant, O oh Lord, to servant of God, Lance and Dennis and um, to Mother Catherine and to Jaron and his fam new family and preserve them, O oh Lord, for many years. Good. 
I thank thee, O Lord my God, that thou hast not rejected me a sinner, but hast granted me to be a communicant of thy holy things. I thank thee that thou hast granted me, unworthy as I am, to partake of thy pure and heavenly gifts. But, O Lord, lover of men, who didst die for us and raise again, rise again and bestow upon us these thy dread and life-giving mysteries. For the well-being and sanctification of our souls and bodies, grant that these may even be even to me for the healing of my soul and body for the averting of everything hostile, for the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, for the peace of the powers of my soul, for unashamed faith, for sincere love, for the, fulfill, for the fullness of wisdom, for the keeping of thy commandments, for an increase of thy divine grace, and for familiarity with thy kingdom, that being kept by them in thy holiness, I may ever remember thy grace, and never live for myself, but for thee, our Lord and benefactor. And so, when I have passed from existence here in the hope of eternal life, may I attain to everlasting rest, where the song is unceasing of those who keep festival, and the joy is boundless of those who behold the ineffable beauty of thy face. For thou art the true desire and the unutterable gladness of those who love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation sings of thee throughout the ages. Lord Christ our God, King of the ages and creator of all, I thank thee for all the blessings thou hast granted me and for the communion of thy pure and life-giving mysteries. I pray thee, therefore, good Lord and lover of men, guard me under thy protection and within the shadow of thy wings, and grant me with a clear conscience till my last breath worthily to partake of thy holy things, for forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the source of holiness, the giver of all that is good, and to thee we send up the glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O thou who givest me willingly thy flesh for food, thou who art fire and burnest the unworthy, scorch me not, O my Maker, but rather pass through me for the integration of my members into all my joints, my affections, and my heart. Burn up the thorns of all my sins. <clears throat> Purify my soul, sanctify my mind. Strengthen my knees and bones, enlighten the simplicity of my five senses, nail down the whole of me with thy fear. Ever protect, guard, and keep me from every soul-destroying word and act. Sanctify, purify, attune, and rule me. 
Adorn me, give me understanding, enlighten me. Make me the habitation of thy spirit alone, and no longer a habitation of sin. That as thy house, from the entry of communion, every evil spirit and passion may flee from me like fire. I offer thee as intercessors all the sanctified, the commanders of the bodiless host, the forerunner, the wise apostles, and thy pure and immaculate mother. Receive their prayers, my compassionate Christ, and make thy slave a child of light. For thou alone art our sanctification, O good one, and the radiance of our souls, and to thee as our Lord and God, as is right, we all give glory day and night. May thy holy body, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, be to me for life eternal, and thy precious blood for forgiveness of sins. And may this Eucharist be to me for joy, health, and gladness. And in thy awful second coming, make me a sinner worthy to stand on the right hand of thy glory through the intercessions of thy holy and most pure mother and of all thy saints. Amen. All, ho all holy lady, mother of God, the light of my darkened soul, my hope and protection, my refuge and consolation, and my joy, I thank thee that thou hast made me who am unworthy, worthy to be a communicant of the immaculate body and precious blood of thy son. But do thou who didst bear the true light enlighten the spiritual eyes of my heart, O thou who didst conceive the source of immortality, give life to me who am dead in sin. O thou who art the compassionately loving mother of the merciful God, have mercy on me and give me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, and the recall of my reasoning powers from their captivity. And grant me till my last breath to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the holy mysteries for the healing of soul and body. And give me tears of repentance and confession and, th and of thanksgiving, that I may praise and glorify thee all the days of my life. For thou art blessed and glorified forever. Amen. Now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, O Lord, according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared in the sight of all peoples, the light of revelation for the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Grace like a flame shining forth from thy mouth has illumined the universe and disclosed to the world treasures of poverty and shown us the height of humility. And as by thy own words thou teachest us, Father John Chrysostom, so intercede with the word Christ our God to save our souls. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast received divine grace from heaven and with thy lips dost thou teach all men to adore the one God in three persons. O John Chrysostom, most blessed saint, we rightly praise thee, for thou art our teacher, revealing divine things, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O unfailing intercessor of Christians, O constant mediatress before the Creator, despise not the cry of prayer of us sinners, but of thy goodness come speedily to the help of us who in faith call upon thee. Hasten to offer swift intercession and prayer for us, O Mother of God, who ever intercedest for those who honor thee. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Thou who in virginity didst bear God the word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen.